I've got this big stack of credit cards that I've accumulated over the years, 14 of them and a 15th on the way. But my thoughts on credit cards have really changed over the last year, so I'm about to start a new experiment. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I plan to maximize my credit card rewards using primarily just four of these credit cards. The first card I wanna talk about today is City Custom Cash. As you can see from the label, yeah, I label my credit cards. I'm using this one for groceries. Now, the way this card works, it gives you 5% cash back in your top eligible spending category. They've got a list, groceries is on that list. So this is the card that I use for groceries and pretty much nothing else. I did find a targeted offer from the City app that's gonna give me 6% back on a meal prep service that I use. So that's gonna be the only other spending besides groceries that I put on this card. For a lot of years, I used the American Express Blue Cash Preferred card for groceries. That one gets you 6% cash back, not 5%, but it does have an annual fee. This is part of the change in strategy that I feel is right for my spending. I downgraded that card with an annual fee to the no annual fee version, and now I'm putting groceries again on City Custom Cash. Card number two is Chase Freedom Flex, and this is one of those cards with the rotating 5% back categories. For quarter two, that includes Amazon.com, hotels, and restaurants. I've already got an Amazon card that I don't carry with me, just have it linked up to my Amazon account, so I won't be using this card for that. Probably not hotel spending either, but restaurants definitely. In addition to restaurants for that bonus cashback, the only other way I see myself using this card is for drugstores that gets 3% cashback all the time with Chase Freedom Flex. Card number three is Discover It, and that's another card with the 5% cashback categories that rotate. And I really like how things are lining up for quarter two. With Discover It, your 5% categories are gas stations, home improvement stores, and public transit. So with these three cards, that's a whole lot of bonus cashback in categories where most people spend a lot of money. The fourth card in my wallet is City Double Cash, 2% cashback. You get 1% when you buy, then 1% as you pay it off, and I pay off all my credit cards every month. This is my go-to card for all the spending where I don't get bonus cash back with another credit card. And for me, the majority of my spending typically goes on this card. I'm primarily focusing on these four cards with no annual fees because I don't really think that travel cards make a whole lot of sense for me. I saw this quote from Clark Howard recently, and some of you may know that I used to work for Clark, manage his website. In this article, Clark says you need to be a frequent traveler and spend $10,000 a month to make some of these travel cards with fees worth it. The truth is, these travel cards are heavily promoted because who doesn't want a free vacation? But the other factor is that they make a whole lot of money for the credit card companies and also the influencers who are promoting travel cards over cashback credit cards. Still, I wanted to incorporate a travel card into this experiment. I recently signed up for the JetBlue Plus card this one's in the mail and it comes with a pretty nice bonus after spending $1,000 on purchases within the first 90 days, as well as paying the annual fee, and that's $99. My plan is to temporarily move some of the spending that I put on that City Double Cash card to the JetBlue Plus card until I meet that $1,000, and then I'll go from there. Now take a look at this spreadsheet. What I'm gonna do is share what most people who talk about credit cards don't do, and that is my spending. Because I think your spending is probably the biggest factor in deciding whether you should stick with the no annual fee cashback cards or consider a travel card with an annual fee. I also wanna mention a couple other cards that I will be using, but in a limited way over the next few months. First is Wells Fargo Autograph, and I only put my visible bill on this, and that is just for the cell phone protection. Other cards have this too. I've just decided to keep it with Wells Fargo Autograph. I've got a Hotels.com rewards card. I'm keeping pool maintenance on that just because my pool company makes it a little bit difficult to change billing methods. I've got an Amazon card for Amazon spending, and I'm really pooling back on how much I use Amazon anyway. Finally, I use an American Express card that gives me 2% cash back for all my business expenses. I'm gonna be updating the spending and rewards throughout this experiment, and in case anyone wants to follow along, I'll have a link down below to my website where I'm gonna have all the details about this experiment. Thanks for watching.